Hello everyone, you are watching the full review of Micromax Canvas A1. This is another Android One smartphone and I am Gogi from Gogi.in. The A1 is priced at Rs 6499, you also get a free 8GB microSD card. This handset is powered by 1.3GHz quad core processor, it supports 3G, 4.5 inch screen with FWG resolution, 1GB RAM, 4GB internal storage, 5MP rear autofocus camera, 2MP front camera, runs Android 4.4.4 with a battery of 1700mAh capacity. The sensors are clearly mentioned on the box pack, it does come with gyro and magnetic sensor. And being an Android One smartphone, it will regularly get updates from Google for up to 2 years. Inside the box, you'll find the handset, the Micromax Canvas A1. This handset is exactly similar to the Spice Dream Uno. 1700mAh battery, screen card, download goodies, sound information, warranty card and user guide. Inside the box, you will also find the data cable, travel charger and earphone. These are traditional Micromax earphones that you get with many other Micromax handset. Here is the Micromax Canvas A1 Android One smartphone with a curvy design, exactly similar to the Spy Stream you know. There is a minor design change near the camera module as you can see. The back panel is using the same material as seen on the Spice Uno. It's black color with matte finish and soft to touch. The speaker out went, Android One logo, Micromax logo and the 5 megapixel autofocus camera with LED flash. On the front there are no physical buttons. On the top you'll find the in-call speaker, sensors and the front camera. There is a single mic placed at the bottom. 3.5mm audio jack is placed on the top. Volume rockers and the power button are on the right side and micro USB port at the bottom. Let's open up, the back cover is made up of plastic, good enough for this price tag and here are the SAW values. This is a dual SIM handset, SIM slot 1 and 2 are micro SIMs and there is also the micro SD card slot, exactly similar to as seen on the Spice Uno. Handset weight is 142 grams with battery, it is 9.03 mm thick, the breadth is 67.68 mm and the length is 134.27 mm. Let's power on. This answer is running the Android 4.4.4 and here is the home screen. I have inserted the SIM in SIM slot 1 that supports 3G and I am going to switch to SIM 2 that also supports 3G. You can use 3G on any of these SIMs. The touch is smooth and responsive. And you can see the on-screen navigation button since the physical buttons are missing. Performance is good, lag free. It's with a 4.5 inch screen with FWG resolution and the viewing angles are okay. Not that great but good enough for this price tag. Amazon app, Chrome, camera, FM radio, hangouts, hike, keep, quick office, translate, game pre-installed. There is Wi-Fi Direct, Wi-Fi Hotspot, USB and Bluetooth tethering. Cast screen is supported. You can stream content on Wi-Fi enabled devices and there is LED notification and this is how it looks. Of the 4GB internal storage space, 2.27GB is allocated as the internal storage. You get 2.1GB free space for apps and of the 1GB RAM you get around 646MB free. This is on the first boot. Hindi language is supported. There is built-in GPS and the lock is pretty fast. Here is the phone dialer and you get this effect when you switch off the screen. When you unlock the handset you can directly use the command OK Google and it works. I have connected an external OTG pen drive and OTG is not supported. Let's check out the system information ARM Cortex A7 1.3 GHz it's quad core with Mali 400 MP GPU. This handset is running Android 4.4.4 over a 4.5 inch screen with 782 by 480 pixels resolution. Some part of the screen is used by the on screen buttons. And here are the list of sensors accelerometer, proximity light, gyro, and magnetic sensors. Similar to as seen on the Spice Dream Uno. It's using the MediaTek MT6582 quad core chipset with Mali 400 MP GPU. Model number is AQ4501. 
The time is 1.39, battery at 74% and the temperature at 33 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 4216, Antutu score is 18707, Vilamo Metal 777-7, Multicore 1142, Browser 1713, Ninamark 2 62.3 FPS and this handset supports 10 point multi-touch. This handset is also using the Google camera. It supports photosphere, panorama, lens blur, camera and video. Let's go to the setting, resolution and quality. Rear camera can shoot in 5 megapixel resolution. Front camera in 2.4 megapixel resolution. Rear camera can shoot full HD videos. HDR option is also supported. Rear camera is autofocus and I have started the video recording. You can shoot images while the video recording is on. This video got recorded in 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. After 26 minutes, the battery dropped by 10% and the temperature is 36 degrees. For the next test, Wi-Fi is on and I have set the brightness to the maximum. I'm going to play this video shot using the same handset in a loop. And after 29 minutes, the battery dropped by 11% and the temperature is 39 degrees. I have installed the Asphalt 8 and the data files got stored on the external SD card. There is an option to move to SD card. Let's play the Asphalt 8. I have set it to the highest visual quality. The gameplay is smooth. And now let's check out the next game, Modern Combat 5. This game also played really well. It is smooth and playable. I played these games for about 28 minutes. The battery dropped by 12% and the temperature is 39 degrees. The Micromax Canvas A1 is another Android 1 smartphone that will be competing with the Spice Dream Uno and the Carbon Sparkle 5. All of these Android 1 smartphones are using the same hardware, same software and the same design with some minor changes near the camera module. I have already done the review of Spice Dream Uno you know, and when compared with the Canvas A1, I found three differences. One, a minor design change. Two, the price tag. Three, the brand name. Do visit my website to check out sample images and videos. And if you like this video, do hit the like button and don't forget to share.